Hey guys, Travis Manson. Today we're jerk baiting. Jerk baiting is an awesome technique that's often overlooked, especially in conditions like we're facing today where the water's warming up. A lot of, a lot of anglers will use this in colder water conditions. And I'm telling you, as great as it is in cold water, it'll work just as good in warm water conditions as well. We're down here in Florida throwing jerk baits and we're working a grass edge. So a lot of different scenarios that come into play with a jerk bait. But in this situation, we're actually up in a river, in a creek, and there's fish busting and they're pushing bait up along this edge. You'll actually get real tight in here and there's some mats but a lot of these active fish are right on the edge. And so I'm gonna go down with a jerk bait and I really have to vary the cadence and the speed of this because I really wanna mimic a wounded bait fish, whether it be a brim, whether it be a shad, whatever the species of bait fish that are, that are in the bodies of water that you're fishing, you wanna to try to mimic that. So a lot of times you're gonna see me do a couple quick twitches with the rod tip and then a pause. And I might work that a little bit quicker in the warmer water. Obviously when it's colder water, you wanna slow it down just a little bit. But regardless, if you're gonna make a long cast around the cover that you're targeting with a, with a jerk bait, you wanna do your, your couple twitches, your pause, twitches, pause, but at some point in that retrieve, I want you to just pause that jerk bait a little longer. Because oftentimes there's a fish tracking that, and when you give it just that extra pause, whether that be four, five, six seconds, that's when that fish is gonna hit. So obviously today we're fishing this in grass, but just the other day we were actually fishing docks with a jerk bait. These fish were holding right on the edge of the docks in the shade lines, and we we're actually able to go down with a jerk bait, and it was pretty quick. It was a couple twitches, a, a small pause, two, more, two or three more twitches, and we we're just erratically working that jerk bait through the shade lines on these docks, and we were catching fish that way as well. So a lot of these docks are actually out into deeper water. And what we found is a lot of these bass are positioning themselves about three quarters of the way from the bank out into this deep water. And so that's where I'm gonna to focus today, throwing this jerk bait. And what I like to do is you gotta get every different angle because there's a lot of obstructions here and it does get tricky, right? I'm throwing a bait with three treble hooks. So accuracy is gonna be important. And I wanna get it close to the shade line as well as all these poles. And with the water warming, I'm actually gonna do two or three quick twitches and then a pause. But the cadence today is gonna be somewhat quick. I want a reaction bite from these fish that are sitting in these shade lines. So two or three quick jerks and a pause. So I'm continually moving this jerk bait along. So here's the perfect scenario. We have actually stairs that go into the water and oftentimes this is gonna be an area where these fish are gonna set up. So I'm gonna actually throw the jerk bait past the stairs and work it back. There he is. So I'm making that cast around the stairs and I'm just gonna jerk this two or three times in a quick pause just making aggressive twitches with this jerk bait around these poles. Now a lot of times you're not making a long cast. I really don't have a lot of real estate to work with. I'm just trying to get it in the shade line and back around these poles. And sometimes it's just for a brief second or two is when I'm in the strike zone. So reel up and just, whether it be an underhand pitch or a rolling pitch, whatever you gotta do to get that jerk bait back inside this dock here to get that bite. I actually found a little bit of scattered grass too. You, I want to hit it. I know I'm going in between these docks here, but if you have an opportunity, you might as well take it. So I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there's actually a nice little grass edge right here. And since I'm passing through, I'm going to make some casts with it and see if we can get a fish out of it. So just because the water temperatures are rising does not mean it's time to put the jerk bait away. Give it a try. It's just another technique you can use in your arsenal to help you catch more bass.